Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new series on this channel that was actually suggested to me in the comments. Uh, I don't know if you guys have actually noticed, but I'm actually doing a lot more of this series and videos that you guys ask me to. And I guess that's quite a cool thing. So if you'd like to see any videos or have any sort of series suggestions, then do let me know. Because a lot of you guys actually have really good ideas and it allows me to make content that you guys actually really enjoy. So um, what this is going to be is the cheapest unusuals with a certain effect and uh, this just essentially allows me to highlight all the unusuals out there with a really nice effect that are really cheap and obviously I'll be focusing specifically on unusuals with a specific effect in certain episodes so today's episode we're going to be focusing on burning flames so this is going to be the top five cheapest burning flames unusuals so obviously this helps a lot of you traders out there that may be looking to buy a cheap burning flames hat to make profit from because obviously a lot of people are after burning flames hats so they're easy to profit from or just people out there that are simply interested in trading or maybe people looking to buy a uh, loadout with one of these hats so it's just really like a wide margin of people who would like to see this and I really hope you guys do enjoy this so at number 5 we actually have the Burning Flames Dreadnought. The Dreadnought is of course the heavy hat, everyone considers it really bad, but honestly, I don't think it looks too bad. It's a pretty cool hat, it's just sort of like a top knot style I guess you could say, so it's a kind of hairstyle for the heavy, and it's just quite nice, it's kind of underrated in my opinion, like I'd happily own an unusual version of this. It also looks really cool when you paint it, uh, it paints the whole sort of head and it's just really nice. So this is actually priced at 33 keys and was priced 20 days ago so it's extremely recent and there are a fair amount on the market that you guys can go out and pick up so uh, it's a heavy hat of course and it's just generally really nice and fairly cheap for the number 5 spot. So coming up next, we're actually switching things up a bit. I know a lot of you guys probably thought this whole list would just be consisting of heavy hats. However, our next hat is an engineer hat. The Timeless Topper in Burning Flames is priced two months ago at a range of 31 to 35 keys, which averages off to around 33 keys. If you guys aren't familiar, this is actually the robot version of the Western Wear, which is again another hat for the Engineer, which is slightly higher tier, I believe. And it doesn't look too bad, I mean, it's just sort of like a metal hat, um, not really like too themed or anything like that. But um, it's, it's quite cool, you know, it's not a bad hat. When you paint it, it paints the small sort of headband around the hat, and it's just quite like cool. I guess with certain cosmetics, it could look quite cool. And yeah, that's in the number four spot again at 33 keys. So coming in at number 3, the midway spot on this list, we have the Burning Flames Stately Steel Toe. This is actually a pyro hat, so again, slightly switching things up a bit, and it's coming in at 2 months ago, being priced at 28 to 35 keys. This range averages off to about 31.5 keys. The Stately Steel Toe is a kind of steel-toed sort of army or combat boot, and it just sort of wobbles around on the head when you wear it. It's a kind of strange, and a lot of people consider it ugly cosmetic, but again, I don't think it's really too bad. It's kind of like the ha the handyman's handle for example you either love it or you hate it and I don't think it's too bad I really like the sort of wobbling theme it has to it kind of like the rather festive tree and overall it's just quite a cool hat it's obviously really comedic uh, not really a hat to be taken too seriously and I like that so that's coming in at the number three spot at 31.5 keys so in the runner-up spot and the second cheapest Burning Flames hat on the market right now, we have the Burning Flames Hard Counter. This was priced about a month ago at 28 keys precisely and is selling for 28 keys on the market right now. So if you don't know what the Hard Counter is, it's a kind of umbrella cosmetic for the Heavy exclusively and it's a team coloured one so regardless of what team you're on, it's going to be coloured red or blue and it can be painted which paints the whole umbrella. So personally, I think when it's painted orange with Burning Flames, it looks really cool. Uh, pink as hell with circling heart for example. It's really cool. It kind of paints the whole umbrella. A lot of people consider it an ugly hat and I, I have to agree there. It can't combo with a huge amount and it's literally the top of an umbrella stuck on the heavy's head. But again it's not really a hat to be taken seriously. It really doesn't take itself too seriously and I admire that. So that's at the runner up spot at 28 keys. So in the number one spot and the cheapest Burning Flames Unusual of all time, we have the Burning Flames Magnificent Mongolian. This was priced just 20 days ago at 24 to 29 keys, averaging off at 26.5. This makes 3 out of 5 of the Unusuals in this list belong to the Heavy. 
There's not a huge amount I can describe this hat with, it's kind of got like a fur ring around the outside and a little flap at the bottom with this sort of temple I guess design on the top of it, like the roof of a temple I guess you could describe it as. It's meant to be like a really traditional hat for people of Mongolia I guess. So uh, yeah, this is a heavy hat again, not too appealing to a lot of people that I guess explains the price, but again I think when you combine it with the right cosmetics, for example uh, the gift bringer that also has a lot of fur on, it could combo quite well so it's not too bad of a hat and for just 26.5 keys burning flames really isn't too bad of a shout for such a cheap hat so that is just about it for this episode guys let me know what you thought of this series down in the comments below or leave anything you'd like to see on this channel i'd really love to see if you guys enjoyed this episode because i think it's a really cool idea so again if you did enjoy this episode guys please do remember to leave a like let me know what you thought down in the comments below and that's just about it thanks again for watching guys and peace